Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome viewers once more to my channel. If you are existing viewers, most welcome. If you are new to my channel, you are also most welcome. Please, if you are new, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notification of any new videos that I produce. So we are carrying on with our percentages work. In this uh, session, we will be um, trying to get to the original value. In other words, once the increase uh, or the decrease has taken place, we have that figure, but we didn't know the we don't know the original figure. So that is what we will be trying to work out. And as always, the plea is please please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'm happy with the viewing figures, but uh, the subscribe figures. Then and I am very grateful for those people that have subscribed so far. But please try to help in whatever you, way you can so that we get those figures up. So as always, I'll start off with the starter. <coughs> so I'll leave this up for five minutes. So as you can see, it's testing our previous knowledge of the multiplier. <coughs> Okay, so if I just go through the first one, the amount is 520, and that is going to be increased by 22%, so it's 520 multiplied by 1.22, okay? And that gives us the answer 634.40, okay? I'll just simply put the answers up. Okay, so those are the answers, and I'll give it a few seconds if you want to. Um, pause. Okay, so please do go through these examples that I uh, do. So the videos are, you know, 12-15 uh, minutes l uh, long, but you must pause them and do all the work. So it should take you uh, a good hour, hour and a half to complete each lesson. Okay, we're moving on. So, to d uh, sorry, last lesson we learned the quick way of calculating percentages, which we of course we call the multiplier, and today we'll be using that method to work out what original values were before any changes took place. And uh, it says that this is very similar, but one very important difference to remember, which is which I am going to go through. Okay, so as always, I uh, work through some examples, then I will pause some of them for you to do. So the first one, a pair of shoes cost £33.75 in a sale. They have been reduced by 75%. What would they have cost at full price? So the key word here is reduction. So this um, £33.75 has the value of 75% uh, if you like because there was a reduction. And we need to find out what the 100% or the original price was. So if you remember, we went from the 100 to 75% by uh, multiplying by, sorry, by multiplying by 0 0.75 because that was the reduction. So to get to the original, we must uh, divide by 0 0.75 to get our original uh, price which in this case works out at 45 pounds so please do the sums the long uh, long way and then you, you can't uh, get uh, go wrong in the exams so you must uh, divide 3375 by 75 and of course you can always check your answers as well by doing the opposite, 75 multiplied by 45 will give you 33.75. Okay, so what you must do is the opposite of the information that is given. So here we had a reduction. So we multiplied um, an amount by that. And to get back to the original figure, we must divide. 
Okay, to, I'll give you another example. A bank account contains 752 pounds and 20 pence after one year of interest at 3%. How much was it a year ago? So, um, there has been an increase, therefore the multiplier must be uh, 1.03%. And we want to get back to the original uh, amount. And to get from 100 to 103, we multiply by 1.03. Remember, that is 103 divided by 100 gives us 1.03. So we must do the opposite, which is divide. And the figure we get is 730 pounds and 20 pence. Again, you know, they're uh, quite challenging figures and you must practice uh, dividing 75220 by 103. Okay, so I'm going to um, pause for five seconds so that you can pause the video and have a go at it and then I will go through it. Okay, so we're about to go through it. So, in this example, a car is damaged in an accident and falls in value by 62%. It is currently valued at 950. We want to know the original amount. So, there has been a big um, fall, and the fall, of course, is uh, 48%. So, the 950 is now, sorry, 38 is now 38%, uh, and we want to go back. To that so we uh, must have uh, multiplied the, the original figure by 0 0.38 to get to, to 950 so we must divide 950 by 0 0.38 to get the, uh, the original figure which was a substantial amount 2500 so it was worth 2500 and then the damage took place, it is now worth 950. Okay, so put up the next example. Okay, again, I will pause and then go through it very quickly. I think you should have got the process by now. Okay, so the value in this instance of the uh, painting increases by 16%. So the 13,000 must have been worked out by a multiplier of 1.16. I'm ahead of myself. So it's 116, so the uh, multiplier must be 1.16. Therefore, we must divide the 13,000 by 1.16, and we get 11,000. 206 pounds 90 pence okay so again you can also uh, double check your uh, calculations by multiplying 11,206 and 90 pence by 1.16 okay one another example okay I would like to have 1,000 pounds in three years time if the interest rate is fixed at 7%, how much should I invest? Okay, so this, firstly, this is one of those, remember, um, I told you uh, it is a little bit above this level, but I will show you how to calculate it. And remember, it's going to be over a three-year period. Okay, what I've written is actually the way to do it with a calculator. So the multiplier would be 1.07 to the power of 3, but remember t you can do that longhand, and once we get the calculations in, so we are going to divide that at 1000 three times. So, you know, in the exam you will not have a calculator, so it's a thousand divided by 1.07 you get the answer 
you divide it again, you get the answer, and you do that three times. I thought I'd put the, uh, this example in because uh, although it's a little bit above the level, uh, you know, you never know, they might ask you something like this. And of course, in the calculator, all you do is 1000 divided by 1.07, then there's an X to the Y button, and uh, you simply uh, press that to get the uh, original amount, which in this case is 816 pounds and pennies. Okay, so this is a populous topic also at GCSE, and this would be a, a well, the old school would be C grade, but nowadays it is, of course, grade four or five. Okay, so I'll pause for uh, five seconds so that you uh, get a chance to have a look at it, and then I'll go through it. Okay, so uh, the, the explanations are finished, and the, you know we have this GCSE question, and then uh, I have some questions that I have made up. So, uh, so we have the sale price. So that is now worth forty percent. The eighteen sixty is worth forty. Sorry, is worth the eighteen sixty has been reduced by sixty percent. Therefore, it is worth 40% now, and we need to get to the 100. So, we must have multiplied that by 0 0.4, because there was a 60% uh, reduction. Okay. <coughs> so, we must divide 1860 by 0 0.4 to, <coughs> to get the answer. 46 pounds 50 okay so I will say to students first of all think about the question you know it is over 50 percent so if you've got a, a silly answer have a look at it again and of course you know it's been re uh, reduced by more than a half so it must have been quite a high price to start off with and of course the answer here is 46 pounds 50 okay so I do hope you've um, grasp the topic and what you can always uh, what you can do of course test yourselves and here are five questions that i have made and good luck with doing them and then i'll um, put up the answers once i've given you five seconds to stop the video <coughs> Okay, viewers, I'm going to reveal the answers. Okay, so here are the answers. I do hope that you got them all correct. So, particularly at 11 plus, it's a very popular topic. So, I suggest you practice and practice. Okay, viewers, uh, all that remains to be done is uh, for me to summarize and then bid you farewell. Okay, so today we've continued. <coughs> to use the multiplier uh, as a way of calculating percentages and we've learned how to work back to the original figure before the change took place and we've looked at some example of <coughs> GCC questions <coughs> okay so all that remains for me to say is thank you for watching and please do like, share and subscribe uh, to the channel. So I shall try and uh, do some more on maths and also try and uh, do some English. It's a long time since I've done some English and of course I do love to go outside as well. But I was hoping today but uh, it was uh, a little bit cold. Okay, so look after yourselves, look after others. दूसरों का ख्याल रखना हमें दुआओं में याद रखना until the next time goodbye allah hafiz